Hey everybody, hope you're having a red letter day. You know, it's raining and cold outside, yet it feels like the sun is shining. Must be a red letter day. You wanna know the best way to ignore woke nonsense? Don't take it seriously. Treat it like the joke that it is. Like, hi, I'm a pronoun. Excuse me, I'm sorry, did you say something? Because I thought I heard a human being talking. People who suffer from victim mentality struggle with satire because they can't decide whether or not to laugh or be offended. Like, oh, that was funny. Hey, wait, was that me? Oh, now I don't know whether or not to laugh or be offended. I feel like laughing, but my feelings won't let me. As a former bikini wrangler, <laughs> avid fan of hot babes and low-budget B-movies, stand-up comic moonlighting as a digital marketer, <laughs> part-time entrepreneur, weekend filmmaker, jack-of-all-trades, master of a few, just to name a few, <laughs> I discovered that the secret to happiness is hot babes and low-budget B-movies because nothing takes the edge off at 3 o'clock in the morning like a fresh hot pepperoni pizza with killer clowns from outer space. Thanks to those hot babes and low-budget B-movies with questionable story structure, I got inspired to get off my mom's couch after a traumatic accident to go live life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness with entertainment pleasure. Along the way, I discovered the formula for sex appeal and satire with entertainment pleasure, that same formula that I strive to bring to you. In a world where you don't need to be a biologist to know what a woman is, you need satire to help defeat the woke nonsense, to help crush the woke zombies, and to help annihilate wokeism. And what better way to enjoy sex appeal with the entertainment pleasure of hot babes? Don't mind if I do. I hope you'll enjoy. Oh, and I'd like to thank my wife for giving me the permission to have a hobby that doesn't interfere with her happy wife, happy life. Thanks, hon.